Hello, welcome to this tutorial. So this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can connect Metamax to your tab using ETAGES. Right, this tutorial was inspired by one of the group, one of the one of the society group that I belong to. Actually, the only one, by the way. Um, I had a newbie ask a question about how to do that and, and how it has been messy trying to trying to achieve that. That most of the tutorials out there are very outdated and updated and they're not all together you know we complain about web3js documentation not be very straightforward or itas.js documentation not, not be straightforward and metamask documentation oh you don't want to go there right so i decided that oh let me show newbies on this video how they can connect a web3 clients which is in this case metamask to the adapt while building, while, while developing the app. And then to add a little icing on top of the cake, I also implemented this where you can transfer token from one address to another. Yeah, I was 20 token. So in this case, I also did graph token. I deployed graph token on Covan Test Network. It's live on Covan Test Network, my own version, right? And then I can transfer this. So I'll show you all this, how it works and the code of how to implement that right you see you see what this person is like it's too much push to describe something simple this metamask workflow that throws me off we detecting enabling and then you also need to make into consideration some changes accounts automatically refreshing the balance all this stuff right it's really simple you know but you know all this information are all like in different places not pieced together so um let let's start by showing you how this works Right, so right now I have a Metamax here. I'm on Covan Test Network. Okay. Let me just confirm this video is recording. Recording because I already recorded one video before and then I had a problem with video recording. So, um, beyond. Covan test network right now. If I try to do this, I say, Oh, I'm disconnected first. It's connected. It's connected. So let me just disconnect, right? Disconnect. So it shows disconnected. For the purpose of disconnected, I clicked on it. And this is the address that I want to connect to. So I can decide to select all my addresses. But I just, I'll, I'll stick it to this. Nests connect yeah that's it connected let me send 1000 this time 1000 graph token you notice i said amount in it's a race for 18 reason why that is you know evm doesn't work with decimal that's why we have the concept of we and eta so that's how we have one we is um one multiply by 10 raised power 18 like 18 zeros well i will show you that in a couple of moments so let's just complete this sync say 1000 glt to my other address confirm that's successful i didn't display any information but i could have done that say i call this so say this is data gasoline gas price RSV, all this stuff, right? And this is the value of what is. Let's see, what's this? Mm. See, yeah, this is it. Yeah, on the Covan Covan network. See, it's loading. Let me just go back to this, right? And if I go to my other address, so I sent one thousand GLT. I'm sure I probably sent it here. Let's see this. So to from to from this to this. More Binance token I have on this graph token to this guy. Let me just try and copy the contract. That's what I'm trying to do by the way. 
Yeah, let's copy the contact address and uh, add the show. I sent the out the this. I'm not sure which of my address I sent it to, right? We're not store you long. Let me get back to, to this. I sent one of my addresses, but not to store the video too long. That was successful. You would notice that I have on this other address. Let me just copy this other address and send to this other address, by the way. Let's see. Go back here again. Connected, let me send out that. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Sent on the way to zero x three. Let's reach out the address is zero x six three. Yeah, it's this. seven seconds transaction hash so this this is the this is the details of what I just did now this is the details so not stop for long that's what this does right so Let's get into how it works. So now you notice this is just basic HTML. I didn't try to HTML and JavaScript. I didn't try to use anything complicated like saying I want to import. So what we are using here is the library we are using here is we're using Bootstrap, Italjs, which is like the most important one here. You can just check out where do I have the such as this documentation. Check out docs.itas.io. Go through itas.js documentation. What I put use web 3 js but I prefer itas.js just recently. It's a new library. But it's been around for, for some time now. Bootstrap, itas.js, and jQuery, and then I included this graphs.js. So we go to graphs.js, you would see we have GLT address, the address of GLT that I deployed, and then we have GLT API. That's API when I compile the code of the GLT contract. So what I simply did was I went to ETH Explorer, looked for graph token contract, I copied it, pasted it to my Remix editor, and I compiled it, copied the API. Of course, the API will always be the same thing. Copy the API, deploy it to Coban Test Network, then copy the contract address and I'm using it here so you can also just do the same so first thing I do here is I check window.ethereum.is metamask so once you have metamask installed on your browser or if someone so when you're being a doubt someone has metamask installed so you can detect it by also running windows.ethereum because automatically metamask will inject that into the browser so we check windows dot window dot ethereum whereas its door is metamax to but chain id puts an hexadecimal value which you can do by passing it by the way gives you this right just like the way to return by the time you try to check the balance in your wallet it returns the balance as hexadecimal and then you can always do passing to get decimal value and you can convert it to ether value using pass ether. 
So I check when you react here under is Metamax. If it's Metamax, it says Metamax is not installed. If Metamax is not installed, it says Metamax not installed. If it's installed, it said it says Metamax disconnected. Right. But if you go to Metamax um, websites, they have like a boiler template code base that you can use to check if the user has Metamax installed. If not, they can click on the button and it takes them to install Metamax and return them back. They have like a boiler page like that, but this is just kind of straightforward and simple. Next thing is we do is window the Ethereum to add listener if it's connected. There's listener to check if it's connected, if it's disconnected. If chain ID change, which is this, it means if you change from one network to another, say from testnet to from um, Covan testnet to Ring Kevin testnet or to main test or main, main net, right? So we know Ethereum to add, add listener to connect. I, I get a chain ID. I get a provider, which is I do ethers to a provider or Web3 provider. And then I pass the instance of the Web3 provider, which is Metamax that we are using, right? That we have. In our case, if it's no Metamax, if it's something else, you would also have to pass it like this. So sign up, provider or get sign up. When you read the Web3 JS documentation, it explains more about this, right? So it has the contracts to try to get into interact with the GLT contracts that we deployed. It has the contracts, then we pass the GLT address, the API, and the signer. Our provider signer. So then we do provide a list accounts, then accounts, then I get the default account. Remember, I was trying to connect Metamax. I only selected one address to connect with. I have selected three. If I selected three, then to provide me with three accounts, but I only selected one, so probably we don't want. So with that, I just check if I have any accounts, the default account, which is like the first one, it means Metamax connected. And then I have the accounts available for use. So I'll show MetaMask connected on the button and disable the button. Right. So then I check again, window Ethereum on account change, I can reload. So if accounts change, I can reload if account change. So we can display something like a different balance by that. We do window the Ethereum dot chain change reload. Window Ethereum dot but it's connect reload. Right. And this is the code for connecting the MetaMask. It just says window Ethereum the request. There are several methods. Again, to know the methods are available, check Metamax, um, Metamax documentation. But then the method we'll call here is ETH your request accounts. Then if it's successful, this happens. If there was an error, you can undo that here. Right. And for sending the token, this is what we use. Right. So first thing, we try to get the address, which of course provided here. Get with jQuery and we'll call it as the YouTube or pass it in order to convert to the Wii version. Big number. So in this case, we passed 100, right? If we did 100 big number value, then I can copy this and do pass it to just you know, give me this. Passing so it gives me that that's what it passes to the contracts. Now I want to return it back to this just to this. You know it's 18 decimal graph token is 18 decimal, so is um ETH ETA and then so it's several years to token, even all really. So if you do divide by 10, 18, see you get about 100, same days. So just like the maths, and then we do GLT dot transfer now. If you understand your 20 token, you would know uh, Meow's 20 interface as the transfer method, it has the allow method, it has the transfer form, and also. So we are just calling the transfer method on GLT Meow's 20 contract, the transfer method. Call the transfer method and recipients, amounts, that's what it takes. And then, then if it's successful, perform this. If it's not, we catch here. We don't force. So then again, put it on, click, connect to MetaMask, transfer on. So that's it. You can just go through this and you can just do the exact same thing and it's going to work. Right. So I have a free mini course that explains this better. And then I provide the full course, the full code to the, to the mini course. The free mini course is on Udemy. I'm going to, um, you can look at the link at the bottom of this video and description of this video. Just simply visit 
solidity masterycourse.com slash free in this in this mini course i i go ahead to explain better how you can it's, it's super interesting how you can accept payments on your e-commerce website accept cryptocurrency payments um and mainly, mainly your 20 tokens so let's see mini course see here this is like a demo checkout you can accept graph token compound but then i also implement them binance token it's free simply to get access to the course simply come to solidity magic course to come slash free scroll down provide your e your name and email to get a course and if you're unable to do that you can always just reach out to me comments on this video if you're unable to get access to it comment on this video and um you can always email me or love fair me i love fair at yahoo.com email me if you have any question if you want me to help out or if there's a project you want me to get on you want to give me a job to do i'll be happy to do that too so seeing you see you the free mini course thank you for watching this video if you have any question drop it i'll be happy to to reply your question bye